So by a show of hands, at least at this moment, how many of you think you want to pursue a career in science, technology, engineering, or math? All of you. Amazing. Five out of five, numbers most educators would applaud. So what's their secret? For one, there are no boys here. I honestly think that sometimes when boys are around, it affects how girls act. So I think that changes girls sometimes. So when, when we're in like such a nice environment with just girls, it gives us like more confidence. All schools have drama, but we have less drama because we don't have the distraction of boys. When I came to school, I was so comfortable because everyone was similar to me, I could relate to people, and there wasn't that sense of uncomfortability that I was going to make a fool of myself or I was wrong about something. I was free to make mistakes and free to learn from them. What's the column? Math teacher Yariv Cohen saw firsthand how girls hold back when he taught in a co-ed school. They, they wouldn't even feel comfortable sharing inside the classroom. At that point they would say, I just don't feel comfortable sharing with, and then they would name the boy or they would name a group of boys that they don't feel comfortable with, never with a girl. Think about the numbers. More girls than boys graduate college now. More women are in the labor force. And yet, when it comes to the math, science, and technology fields, women are in the minority. Less than 25% of the jobs in math, science, and technology are held by women. Schools like this one hope to change that. So what's the slogan here? Girls rule. <laughs> We like boys, but girls rule. And what's the message behind girls rule? Um, empowerment, self-esteem, confidence, and that whatever you put your mind to, you can achieve it. It makes all the girls want to break out of that stereotype, break free from that stereotype of, oh, I can't do this because I'm a girl. They build confidence, but also try to make learning fun through unusual classes like stock market games, award-winning clubs like mathletes, and sleepaway science camps. I came back like with a love for science and a curiosity that just kept building and building. That love may lead Annie to a career in environmental science, Ayat to become an OBGYN, and Arwa to marine biology. More women are going to science fields, technology fields, and are beating the stereotypes. So when we, like, hopefully graduate college and everything, uh, we'll, we'll be one of them. Knocking down stereotypes and building up girls for the future. For iVillage.com, I'm Kelly Wallace.